This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not sure before it. Uh, for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. Mark 13 and 8, and it reads, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. And the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. First Thessalonians 5 and 3. <clears throat> and it reads, For one nation, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as a travail upon a woman or child. And they shall not escape. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders who are preaching the word in the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash. <clears throat> and double uh, Salakia and Shalom to the Akim that's uh, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely in the name of Yahweh Bashem El Shai Bashem Kadash. I say shalom to you. I came out there, and this is a, a sit down lesson that I'm about to bring out of the uh, scriptures that I just brought out for introduction of this uh, sit down lesson, along with these couple of news articles that I'm about to bring out as well too. And this is the first news article from RT.com. And this is as of January 6, 2023. And it reads, U.S. sets the fight with Russia to the last Ukrainian but Moscow. It says the early president, Joe Biden, who voiced skepticism about the Christmas trust offered by Russia. And it says the U.S. government policies on Ukraine show it is not interested in a peaceful resolution of the conflict. The Russian ambassador to Washington said on Thursday, which was yesterday, in a statement, Atomoly Atonov argued that Washington's decision to supply uh, Kaviv with uh, Bradley fighting vehicles on confirms the U.S. has not even tried to listen to Russia's warning against such a dangerous course. And it says the U.S. unleashed a real proxy war against the Russia support, you know what, criminals in Kyiv as early as 2014. The ambassador refers to the coup as outlaws and democrat democratically elected Viktor Yanukovych. Any talks about a defense nature of weapons supplied to Ukraine has a long become observed. He added, the involved claim Washington arms shipments only encouraging Ukrainian radicals to commit terrible deeds, adding to their feelings of immunity. They continues to kill civilians in Donbass, Zaporahi, and the Carson region of Russia Federation is in an extremely constitutional way. Nobody should have doubts who bears responsibility for the prolonged this conflict and all the actions by the United States administration indicating a lack of any desire for a political settlement and told well said the Russian ambassador highlighted the President Joe Biden's reaction to the 36 hour trust on Orthodox Christmas announced by Russian President Vladimir Putin on Thursday early the U.S. uh the president dismissed Moscow's offer, saying, I am reclining to respond to anything that Putin says. I think he's trying to find some oxygen. All this means that Washington is committed to fighting with us to the last Ukraine. While the destiny of people of Ukraine means nothing to the United States, the diplomatic argued the proposed ceasefires was branded 
hyper protocol by Ukrainian officials with uh, President Vladimir Zelensky calling it a rule saying everyone in the, everyone in the world knows how the Kremlin used ceasefires to continue the war with renewed vigor. And that's why I brought out that first Thessalonians 5 and 3. That little 36 hour trust agreement is it, not gonna last long because that war is gonna continue rage on between uh, Russia and Ukraine and then the Western countries and the United States and other allies are still going to continue to support Ukraine and this war is still going to continue even if it is that 36 hour ceasefire trust agreement currently uh, making effect but once that 36 hours up the war the war is going to continue on which Russia calls a special operation <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, go to the next article. And you, and this is another news article. U.S. to arms Kaviv with sea sparrows. Political says Washington is expected to supply the anti-aircraft. Uh, uh, missions to be fitted on Soviet made launchers. It says the U.S. may supply Ukraine with Ram 7 Sea Spears with short range anti craft missiles. Political reported on Thursday, citing an unnamed official. The missiles are expected to be fitted onto Soviet made bunker launches in the attempt to mitigate a shortage in Russian of the seas remaining in Kyiv entry inventory meant to say It says the missiles developed in the early 1960s are expected to be included in a new upcoming military aid package prompting up in the ongoing conflict with Russia. The package will for the first time include a rad guided sea spurrow air Anti-air missiles will can be launched from the sea or on land to intercept aircraft or cruise missiles in a special battlefield innovation. Uh, the Ukrainian military has managed to tweak its exiting Soviet area boat launches to fire the Sea Sparrow outlet, roading sighting to people familiar with the matter. And it says political did not explain how Kaviv came up with the battlefield and initiative innovation uh, meant to say But given the Ukraine has never been in position with the Ram 7 missiles fitting U.S. made missions onto Soviet made launches, suggesting heavy U.S. involvement in a such upgrade. The missiles in question has previously been successfully fitted on the Cube anti-aircraft launches in the predecessor of the Bug system in a collaboration between Rothbaum and the Polish defense manufacturer of WZU-S8. The upgrade to Soviet-made launchers was first unveiled in the early 2010s, which was a while back. It says an inclusion on a specific five service-to-air missiles, a new massive three million, I mean three billion aid package for Ukraine was confirmed by the White House official during a news briefing on Friday. Separately, the upcoming delivery of the Sea Sparrow missiles were confirmed by Andrew Yurmak, chief of staff for Ukraine, President Vladimir Zelensky, in a social media post. In recent months, Western backers Kavi has intensified the efforts to bolster its Kavi air uh, aircraft defense struggles to deal with the wrapping up bombings campaign against critical Ukrainian infrastructure launched by Moscow in the aftermath of the Kremlin bridge blast. It says recent deliveries to Ukraine was including the U.S. made short range NASAMS system, German Irish T air defense system, 
while at least one battery of the U.S. Patriot system of the backbone of NATO's anti-aircraft defense is expected to be transferred to Kaviv in the near future. So that shows you yet again that the wars are still heating up in that region of the uh, Russian-Ukraine situation. So that little 36-hour trust agreement from Russia, a uh, proposal from that, no, that's not going to last long because the fighting is definitely going to continue between Russia and Ukraine. <clears throat> and this is the last article that I'm about to bring out, then I'm going to close it out. It says, U.S. Germany confirm new heavy weaponry for Ukraine. Both uh, states will give KV force infantry fighting vehicles, according to a joint state. And it says the U.S. President Joe Biden and Germ uh, Germany Councilor Olaf uh, Scholz uh, have confirmed reports that they will donate infantry fighting vehicles to Ukraine. The news comes after a French announced that it would send uh, Western design light tanks to carry right because I uploaded that video uh, yesterday. I believe it was from uh, TRT World News, I believe. And uh, continuing on with the reading, it says, according to a joint statement released by the White House and German Chancellery. On Thursday evening, the United States intend to supply Ukraine with Bradley infantry fighting vehicles in German intends to provoke Ukraine with modern uh, infantry fighting vehicles. Both countries plan to train Ukrainian forces on the respective systems. The statement continued. It remains unclear how many each type of vehicles will be sent to Ukraine and when they will be delivered. <clears throat> and it says early on Thursday, German uh, Sobolewski sent to newspaper, if I pronounce that name right, it says reported that such an announcement was imminent and that Berlin's decision to ship the murders to Ukraine has been made in coordination with the U.S. and France. <clears throat> It says France announced on Wednesday that it is will send a undeclosed number of its uh, X-10 armed fighting vehicles to Ukraine with a government spokesperson declaring that it is the first time that a Western design tanks are supplied to Ukraine armed forces. Although the Bradley and Murden and the AMX-10 vehicles are sometimes referred to as light tanks, the form of the form two or more commonly called the infantry fighting vehicles and the latter armed fighting vehicles. No, no NATO country has suggested that they plan on supplying Ukraine with the Western built made battle tanks and a unnamed American official on Wednesday explicitly ruled out the transfer of the U.S. M1 Abrams tank to KV, according to the Washington Post. <clears throat> Nevertheless, the U.S., Germany, and France have all supplied Ukraine with increasingly heavy weapons since the beginning of Russia's military operation. Their last February, which was of last year of 2022. Now, this is 2023. It says Moscow has cautioned the West against arming Ukraine. It says warning that it is treated incoming armed deliveries and targets, and that such shipments will serve only to prolong the conflict, which making Western nations de facto participants. Back to the scriptures again. This is the book of Luke 21 and 9, and it reads, once again, But when ye shall hear of uh, wars and commotions, be not separate for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by end by precept. Mark 13 and 7, I'll bring it out again. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must need be. 
but the end not shall be yet. Not yet. And to the next verse, Mark 13 and 8 in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. Right, because we are entering in those stages of beginning of sorrows. Because you're going to have that five. Uh, you're still going to have that Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them. You know, you're going to have that as well, too. And then you're going to have the, uh, the intensifying increase of these uh, wars and rumors of wars between the nations and kingdoms. Uh, Russia, Ukraine, one of them was a prime example. Then the one, uh, North Korea versus South Korea. Then, you know, North Korea versus Japan. North Korea. I mean, you got uh, North Korea versus uh, South Korea and Japan and the United States. I, I had to reiterate that. So, yeah, these are uh, prime examples that we are seeing that's taking place on the planet Earth. You know, with the nations against nations and kingdom against kingdom. Ooh, oh, so. Yeah. Yeah, the shoe game. You know, man, I gotta get my gift up. Gotta get those. You know, I gotta get a shine or something. Oh, yeah, a shine. I think so, yeah. You know, I had to get her something, too. She still bought the books. That's still my big love. <laughs> <laughs> She's still my luxurious love. Uh, it's a lot of gear for that. I was messing around with my brother. But yeah, uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, you're going to have these uh, nations against nations and kingdom against kingdoms rising up against one another, you know. And far as that... Uh, announcement Putin made uh, I think it was the day before yesterday about that 36 hour trust agreement so they can celebrate Orthodox Christmas or something like that I believe you know those 36 hours are gonna go quick just like that and they gonna get back continuing on to the uh, war that's going on you know and you're still gonna have these uh, Western countries these NATO allies uh, United States as well too continues to support Ukraine in this uh, Russia-Ukraine situation war that's going on. And it's going to continue to increase more and more. Once that little ceasefire, 36-hour offer ceasefire is over with, it's going to be back to keep continuing on with the war that's going on in Ukraine, which, you know, Russia called it a special operation since last February in the invasion of Ukraine, which is still continuing on from February all the way until now, you know from last year of 2022 now to January of 2023. So we're gonna see this uh, intensifying war gonna to continue to increase with the Russia-Ukraine situation. Tense is gonna increase more in the Middle East. Tense is gonna uh, increase more between North Korea and South Korea. So, you know, we're seeing these things increasing more and more in the latter days, you know. And all these things are going to continue to ramp up, you know. That's why I brought at 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, you know. When they, when they be in that peace and safety mode, hey, the sudden destruction comes, you know. That's why I brought up 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. So that little 36-hour uh, ceasefire agreement proposed by Russia, that, uh, you know, those two or three days is going to go back quick and they're going to continue back on with the war in Ukraine, you know. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying that I brung out as of January 6, 2023 at 3.25 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Friday afternoon. You know, so hey, these uh, fighting fightings are gonna, definitely going to continue. As you see right here, U.S. is set to fight with Russia to the last Ukrainian, you know. 
saw that little 36 hour ceasefire proposal from uh, Vladimir Putin. You know, that's that's not going to last long because that war in Ukraine is going to continue to increase. And the fighting is definitely going to increase between both sides, you know. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying, as I mentioned before. And I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to take Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kardash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, personal word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akian, scattered through the four corners of the globe, personal word, truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom. And all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash. Say Shalom.